Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs. My growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is greatly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already please drop me a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me um and if you feel like the video just give you a good vibe or uplift and you would really love to share it with somebody else to do the same please go ahead and do so it's truly truly appreciated and the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 hey oka is the truth of acceptance can really hit deep but the question is are you ready to dive for it are you ready to go deep for that you know um right now it's like I've, I've been saying in the other videos you know universe is really really giving you that push you know it, it's like something you may have been half stepping for a minute like there'll be a day that a, a day or a, you know or days or weeks or a month that you were really going all in and it may felt like why am I going all in? I really haven't seen the fruit of my labor. I'm not really, you know, seeing things as coming in fru fruition. You know, I'm keep hearing it, but I'm not seeing it. And there's a lot of times we have to accept the fact is it's not going to come in as quick as we want it to all the time. There'll be certain things that you didn't even have to go in hard for and boom, it happened. And they're trying to show you just, you know, see about your manifestations. It could be something, you know... Like you, you could then you you know like I remember it, it was like a, a saying I said it was like oh Lord you know um it was looking like the Spider Man movie or something like I was watching I forgot what it was Nightmare Files and I remember I was saying this on um to Annie uh she and she know who I was talking about Annie we were talking about this on um chat where I was saying um. Girl, I was watching this nightmare files and they were showing this man that was crawling, you know, it was like a tender nightmare, tender, you know, somebody on tender, and it was this girl she was cheating on a man with and this dude followed her, you know, and found her some kind of way. And I was just like, Oh my god, the way he's moving, you know, reminds me of the Spider Man walk like he on the side of the building, but he's crawling and stuff like that. It just made my skin crawl. And next thing you know, on the ad that came right after that, it was you know, it was doing the Superman movie, you know, and it just really threw me off. And I had this screenshot that I'm like, man, look, you know, and I said this and next, you know, that I was showing my friend that be like, girl, that's crazy. Or you can think about somebody or dream about something and all of a sudden they will appear and they're telling you, you know, don't ever, you know, second guess what you can be able to do. You know, it always a lot of times it takes consistency. It takes uh, you know, you being persistent, you know, how you see your perspective, how you see, you know, your prosperity is all about the actions you're cho choosing to take, being able to digest that truth. A lot of times it's hard for us to digest a lot of things. Like if we, we're trying to force people to convince, you know, uh, things are going a certain way and they, you know, a lot of times people got their own things going on. They can see it, but it's like either they don't care or they, they focused on their own stuff. They ain't got nothing to do with them, you know, or there'll be people that really can see what you're going through and really will take attention to that and you don't want to be supportive on it, you know, so there'll be a lot of times where we're seeking approval out of a lot of people, you know, you're going through different things where you do that because there'll be certain times I'll say that I'm like, why am I even doing this, you know, why am I even convincing? They know it's true I, you know you got this you got that to prove that you know just leave it at that or there'll be different times where you'll see somebody it could be in your life it could be somebody you go to school with you work with or it could be somebody in the family you always trying to show that, that they're being that person they'll always tell you you know the proof is in the pudding don't try to always go out there and spotlight somebody's character. The lack thereof is going to eventually show on, on the end anyway that you were right the whole time. Just allow yourself to focus on you. And that's the truth of acceptance on a lot of different things. Like you trying to make um, a situation work with people. They're just like in, in that comfortability of misunderstanding you. They don't want to you know compromise they're not wanting to see things the way you see things they're not wanting to understand and there's a lot of times where you have to understand that's what it was meant to be with that stop trying to force the door to stay open when it's you know universe is clearly trying to close it you know i've been there you know i've been there and it's just like when you can say that let this let you know you're being strong because you you can um 
admit and that's why I always tell people there are people like Rosalind you are really strong through a lot of things that you talk about because you're transparent and I tell people there's times I have my weak moments <laughs> you know be times I have my weak moments I'll be in there on my self pity I'll be victim Vicky you know it'll be something like that but now it's just like it's allowing me to see my broader perspective allowing myself to learn and being able to share my experiences you know and it was just like being able to congratulate myself it was like when i was doing a video about narcissism and toxic toxic behaviors as well as patterns you know connections that we deal with ours i had to really give myself a, a, a congrats because it was just like i didn't want to be able to say something like i was talking to a a, a specific person that was going in my life because it was just like i'm not making that video about me but there's a lot of people that can you know that can uh uh you know say that they've been through a situation like that or saying they're they're in a situation like that or they're now realizing that because a lot of times people think oh we 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 automatically know that we're in a uh a narcissistic relationship or a narcissistic experience or you know connection or um stuff like that you don't know because it was just like you know i've heard narcissism a lot of times but i never really looked up that to see what that was you know i didn't know what codependency was until i started going through my stuff when i was here there's a lot of things that i read up on there's a lot of things that i know now of that um uh, that I'm just now starting to find out about because I allowed myself to study, you know, or there's different things that y'all brought up to my nature or brought to my attention. I'm like, oh, let me let me go fill this out, you know, because there'll be sometimes people ask me, Rosalind, can you do a video on this? And I love it when y'all do that. I haven't had that in a while. So I'm like, ah, right, you know, tell me, you know, um, I say, if you want me to do a video and if you want me to, you know, go ahead and give you a shout out saying, hey, such and such wanted me to do a video on this. I love doing stuff like that because especially for something new new or something that really challenges me i love that you know to be able to do that you know because there, i don't i don't know everything i'm i'm just allowing myself to be open and allow myself to be guided towards different things that i experience and how i'm healing from it to be able to give that insight from a positive perspective but a lot of times you're going through negative situations you have to be very selective about how you choose to talk about things if you choose to even talk about it at all you know and um I, i've seen a lot of growth within myself you know because there's a lot of times i'll catch myself and it'll be something if i know i brought it personal and i know i did that because i know there's a lot of people that watch me and there are some people that watch me to see where they can you know can pick and poke at or where they can block me or give me different issues in my life and there's a lot of people that watch that because they 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 appreciate what i do there's different things that they may be going through and, and there's a you know it's a blessing through everything that i get a connection from whether it's negative or positive it's all about a lesson of growth you know and that had to be something i had to be able to digest too because it was just like you know, I, there'll be different times where I've had people just really try to pull a chain with me. That, you know, make me have a video about them or go ahead and give them that spotlight because they feel like they really have nicked me. But they always got to that point. Am I even going to give this person energy? You know, because a lot of times people speak through their ego. People speak through projection. People speak through jealousy, envy. You know, with that, am I even going to give this my, you know, because there's a lot of times I just block you and just keep going. You know, even when I was doing my chats, you know, which I'm going to be starting back up again. Um, that I just, I, I wouldn't even give you that, you know, if I didn't catch on right away. And I'm like, oh, it's about to be one of those moments. Okay you know and just go ahead and block you and keep going and just allow myself to keep moving not even give you that attention so it will be uh different things that will take place you know that i had to really be uh really be going in at and i had to be able to do and it was just um uh, you know taking that time out for myself um that I had to really allow myself to articulate like okay you know why am I going through this what is it being you know because there's a lot of time I will attack my issue instead of allowing myself to say what is universe wanting me to learn through that um hold on I was outside I got me a, a video call and I'll tell my call my back but uh Uh, 
you know going through that and it, it, it was just like um you know going through that and it was learning you know really to be able to question myself if, am i ready for this you know it, it's just like a lot of times you you have to be ready to get ready you have to you know you have to stay ready to be ready instead of having to get ready um um and it, it was just like one of those different things I learned from experience. I learned from my setbacks. I love from my, you know, my progress. My I love from my pain. You know, I learned, you know, uh, I said my love. I learned from my pain. Actually, I love from it too, you know, because it's allowing me to love myself in a lot of different ways. I wasn't able to, you know, I used to allow myself to cater to other people's needs when they didn't cater to mine. I allowed myself to always be available for other people or allow them to to manipulate me in different ways where you know I wasn't seeing my worth now it's just like nah I'm not gonna do that or you know I see you want to be combative nah I'm just not gonna do that <laughs> you know and I had to learn from that and I love that and a lot of times that that gets you hated you know when people see that you change it can really you know make people hate you but then there'll be different times that people have been with me for a long time and they'll see Rosalind you have really matured you have really grown and those are the things that I love I, I mean even I love it when the enemies do it because it's just like I tell people if you don't have people that's making you doubt yourself if you ain't got nobody who's trying to sabotage you you don't have people that are trying to make you quit on something it could be here I, I've, I've dealt with different people like Rosalind did you have problems getting subscribers yes you have problems getting views yes you have people um um, tr trying to trigger you yes I have not stopped I've been doing this for five years I mean I should I thought I should have a lot more views than that but it's just like God had different plans for me but that don't mean that I'm not going to keep persisting I'm not going to keep trying I'm not going to keep you know allowing myself to add towards that on what I do you know talk about different things that take place in my life you know like I told people before I've been doing this for five years and I got like almost close to like it could be almost close to 5,000 videos now you know um on doing that because there'll be different things that universe always wanted me to come up on and for me doing that I was just like dad you want me to stay on hey Oka? I've been on hey Oka almost close to three and a half years now it may be even close to four I'm not sure you know what I mean I was like I don't know because it, it's just like if I go down but there have been a lot of people say Rosalind you're the only person I know to stay on hey Oka, you know content for as long as I have and you find so many other things and that's what it is because there's a lot of people that are walking around here that may not know that they're an empath and next you know you find your empath but then you find something that's very different about you being an empath and next you know you get guided towards being a trickster or a jokester or you being a hayoka or you being a part of the Lakota tribe all those different things and we're learning things from go growing through them you're going through them and you're growing through them at different times and these are the things that's going to help you heal these are the things that's going to make you excel these are the things that's going to give you uh that that vibration of prosperity you know not giving in on yourself just because things get hard yes there's going to be times where you're going to have to work a little bit harder there's times i got to tell myself that at times too you know i be all up in my feelings i'm like girl get out your feelings and get up on them streets get up on your worth get up on your work you know this ain't that time for be feeling sorry for yourself this is that time to put in that work there this is that time where you don't know what's manifesting for you unless you allowing yourself to keep manifesting and these are the things that you're doing through that so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all you know like i said thank you so much for the love and support it's truly truly appreciated whatever your manifestation manifestation got law lord jesus can't talk manifestations that you your manis that you are working on trust and believe they're going to be so much more expected spectacular than you have actually realized you just don't know what you are really working towards i don't know what's wrong with me and my dad on speech today but you are working on a lot of different things that is going to lead you towards opening doors that you never ever imagined so you keep going even if it's a little step today little step you always congratulate yourself when you start adding on more to that when you start challenging yourself you start doing th different things out of the way you're learning new things you're not starting to do more things that are very 
very scary for you and um and you never know where that may take you so it's just like you know you're, you're allowing yourself to see your truth and acceptance of everything you do so much love to you uh, whatever you're working on trust and believe it's going to be bigger than you ever predicted and it can be you know quicker than you ever expected you know even through social distancing please make sure you give out love light positivity birds by frequencies you just never know how far those things really can take you a long way and you'll see me on my next video much love peace